Kit, and I'm here to, tonight to talk to you guys about putting pleasure back in playtime in under five minutes. But first, let's talk about some clinical shit, okay? Yes! So, <laughs> blood coming, orgasm. An orgasm is the physical reflex brought on by uncontainable pleasure caused by sexual stimulation. Yeah, I like that. Me too! <laughs> the orgasm gap or orgasm inequality refers to general disparity in which orgasms received by heterosexual couples. So the study shows, I'm sorry, that 95% of men orgasm with penis and vagina sex versus 65% of women. Oh. Yeah, that sucks, right? <laughs> Please remember, this study is Sorry. only heterosexual couples, okay? Ah. Yeah, that's where it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so why do we have this gap? According to Dr. Lori Mintz, the primary reason is we don't know what the fuck the female body does, right? So, exactly. So do you remember when you were in sex ed class in high school? They taught us that when boy parts meet girl parts, and they love each other very much. <laughs> they make a baby. And everyone climaxes simultaneously, right? <laughs> so there's no real conversation about the anatomy, what goes where, or how to make it feel good. So we've got the clitoris, right? 44% of men in the US don't know what the clitoris is. <laughs> That's sad. They've never met her. They have never met her. <laughs> In case you're in that group, which I'm not going to throw you away, here's what you should have been taught. Vulva owners have clitorises. And the only biological function is to bring pleasure. It has over 10,000 nerve endings, which makes it super, super sensitive. And the clitoral complex, it's more than just the little button, the bean, the man in the boat. <laughs> it's located at the top of the vaginal opening, and it's not just the tip. So from the button, moving internally, the clitoral structure includes two elongated bulbs that fall along the labia. Those are the lips. Right? <laughs> because they're made of the same erectile tissue as the penis, when aroused, they swell, you know, like plugging into the kind of thing. The clitoral structure also has two legs that spread like a wishbone from the bean area, extending the pleasure zone. So all of these structures get juicy when you're touched, licked, flicked, or somehow stimulated. All right, anatomy lesson over. So how do we bridge this gap? We live in a world. <laughs> prioritizes P and V sex and celebrates the male orgasm. So I want you to touch your lady. I mean, not right now. <laughs> so, with penetration, men are like microwaves. They're instantly hot. And women are more like ovens. They need to be warmed up a little bit, right? So take your time. Explore. Kissing, grinding, using fingers and mouths, toys and candles or candles, and couches, and showers, and I guess you can use the bed too, right? So have fun, and don't take yourself so seriously. So by prioritizing um, the female pleasure and avoiding penetration until she is fully aroused, and combining it with clitoral stimulation, you should get the job done. You know, like, slap it up, slip it, rub it down. <laughs> off and prioritize pleasure instead of counting orgasms. Foreplay is all play, dude. All play. <laughs> if an explosion is no longer the marker of great sex and making sure both partners are having a great time, you know, like that, we did that, high five, like, yes, high five, the number of satisfied customers, they'll increase. Because every woman deserves sexual gratification. And treating orgasms like a goal instead of, you know, like, yay! It's very dismissive. So sexual pleasure shouldn't be a race to the finish line. 
and it should be more than just 30 seconds of bliss. Amen. So let's wrap this up because I've gone past my slides. <laughs> <laughs> we start with the orgasm gap and by learning what makes a woman hot, making friends with her clitoris, putting a pause in the pumping and allowing space for passion, playfulness, excitement, and intimacy, we let go of the anxiety and the expectations and we replace it with genuine pleasure for everyone. <coughs> Thank you.